Wow dot 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 amazing car Aston Martin Vanquish. Turning up its looks and execution truly to 11, the DB11 proceeds with Aston Martin's custom of mixing style and power. A twin turbo 5.2 liter V12 makes a severe 600 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot, collaborated with the Normove 8 speed program. We assess a 060 time of 3.9 seconds. A lightweight structure, toward vectoring framework, and hardened undercarriage result in astonishingly nimble taking care of. Expect every one of the trappings of a present-day Aston when the DB11 hits showrooms in late 2016, beginning at $214,820. The V12 is an extremely old, exceptionally outdated response to an extremely old, persisting inquiry, how would you make a considerable measure of force easily with the responding motor? These days, with the just shafts and small wonder PCs, a turbo four chamber makes a quite decent showing with regards to, and more than one organization makes a rich V8 that wouldn't tip over a standing nickel. Include coordinate infusion and turbos and you have V12 control without the size, weight, and moving parts. However, there's only something about sitting behind, or before, two inline sixes wetted at the crankshaft. The V12 is the triple hub tourability of an inexorably quartz motor world, and it delights us absolutely in light of its unreasonable parts check. Strangely, Aston Martin views itself as a V12 organization, despite the fact that its most great David Brown time relied on upon inline sixes. Carol Shelby and Roy Salvadori won the man's behind one in 1959, and the straight six served Aston well into the 1970s when its consideration swung to Bulldog V8S. The organization didn't get its first V12 until 2001, a 5,935 cc unit made by grafting together two Ford Duratec V6S in a CAD program. Ferrari is a V12 organization, Lamborghini is a V12 organization, Jaguar is a V12 organization, however it hasn't sold one in years. Aston Martin? Well, be that as it may, we're willing to excuse this vanity, which issues from Aston CEO Andy Palmer, a current exile from the upper positions of Nissan who has two perfect capabilities for his present position, he is an architect, and he is British. Under Palmer, and with the organization proprietorship isolated essentially among venture gathers in Kuwait and Luxembourg in addition to Daimler AG, Aston Martin is a brand moving. The new DB11 included here is the principal shot in a quick shoot, for Aston, at any rate, six-year item salvo expected to more than fourfold organization yield to 14,000 vehicles for every year and put Aston on tough money-related ground. Driving is the center kid, the DB11, presenting an all-new bolted and blue fortified aluminum stage that moves the accentuation from expulsions to stampings to make more cockpit space. It's expected in U.S. showrooms before the finish of the year with the base cost of $214,820. One year from now the new section level Vantage makes its introduction with a V8 from Mercedes-Benz, a profit of Daimler's 5% stake in Aston. An updated Vanquish shows up in 2018 as the top spec 2 entry way auto, the styling of both it and the Vantage proposed to assemble more prominent division between the posts of Aston's games auto lineup. Convertible forms of every one of the three will take after. In 2019, the DBX hybrid, Aston's greatest bet ever, will walk forward from another industrial facility neighboring a previous RAF base in Wales. What's more, if that isn't sufficient, Aston arrangements to relaunch the Lug in the name pit by 2020 with an extravagant liner rent for Bentley and Rolls Royce, advertise an all-electric 200 or more mile range rapid to give Tesla Model S clients an approach to spend much more cash, and deliver more constrained run multi-million dollar specials, for example, the as of late declared AMR V001. A mid-motor hyperlimp but imagine an organization with Red Bull Racing. Huge arrangements. Inshallah, it will all happen. In the meantime, the DB11 is here, prepared to be tested in Folk Little East Tuscan good countries. 
This mammoth car is a topical return to an age when Italians drove modest Fiat Cinquecentos, speed cameras were inconceivable, and the sovereignty traveled in Ferrari 365 GTS and so forth, high bars glimmering to shoo aside the workers. The world has changed, however we can at present love the old ways. The DB11 is a major, effective softy. In the cushiest of its three suspension modes, the dampers permit profound strokes and the auto squats dramatically under speeding up, shimmying a little at the back in the event that you get a knock perfectly. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe now.